In this video, we will be going over how you can solve systems of linear equations with three variables. Let's jump right in. All right, so here we have our first problem. We have three equations, x plus 2y plus 3z equals 6, x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 5, and 3x plus y plus 4z is equal to 3. And what we're looking for here are values of x, y, and z that simultaneously satisfy all three equations. And so essentially, the way we're going to solve the system is by picking two pairs of two equations and eliminating the same variable from both of those pairs. Let's say we label these equations 1, 2, and 3 respectively, and we group together equations 1 and 2 and equations 2 and 3. So now we have two pairs of two equations, and let's try to eliminate the variable x from both of the pairs. For the first pair, where we have the equations 1 and 2, this is pretty easy. If we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we get x minus x, so the x terms cancel, and then we have 2y minus negative 3y plus 3z minus 2z equals 6 minus negative 5. So if we simplify this a little bit, we get 2y minus negative 3y is 2y plus 3y, so 5y and then 3z minus 2z, so plus z, is equal to 6 minus minus 5, so 6 plus 5, which is 11. So now we have the equation 5y plus z equals 11. Let's call this equation A. So this equation has two variables in it, y and z. And if we want to find out what the values of y and z are, we're going to need another equation relating the two variables. And we can get that second equation by eliminating x from the second pair of equations that we initially selected. In equation 2, we have x, and in equation 3, we have 3x. So if we want to eliminate x from these two equations, we're going to need to multiply equation 2 by 3. If we do that, equation 2 becomes 3 times x, so 3x, minus 3y times 3, so minus 9y, plus 2z times 3, so plus 6z, and that equals negative 5 times 3, so negative 15. Now let's copy over equation 3, so we have 3x plus y plus 4z is equal to 3. And now to eliminate x, we just need to subtract the equation on the bottom from the equation on the top. And if we do that, we get 3x minus 3x, so 3x is cancel, minus 9y minus y plus 6z minus 4z equals negative 15 minus 3. So if we simplify this a little bit, we get negative 9y minus y is negative 10y, 6z minus 4z is plus 2z, and negative 15 minus 3 is negative 18. So here we have another equation relating y and z. Let's call this one b. So now we have a system of two equations with two variables, and we know how to solve those. Okay, so here's our system of two equations. We have 5y plus c equals 11, and negative 10y plus 2z is equal to negative 18. Let's say we're trying to eliminate the variable z. We have z in equation a and 2z in equation b. So we're going to have to multiply equation a by 2. So if we multiply equation a by 2, we get 5y times 2, so 10y, plus 2 times z, so plus 2z is equal to 11 times 2, which is 22. And if we copy equation b over, negative 10y plus 2z is equal to negative 18. To eliminate z, we're going to need to subtract the equation on the bottom from the equation on the top. And if we do so, we get 10y minus negative 10y plus 2z minus 2z. So the 2z's cancel equals 22 minus negative 18. 10y minus minus 10y is 20y, and 20y is equal to 22 minus negative 18, which is 22 plus 18, so 40. Now if we divide by 20 on both sides, we get that y is equal to 2. Now if y is equal to 2, we can use either equation a or b to find the value of z. Let's say we use equation a, we know that 5 times y, which is 2, plus z equals 11. So 5 times 2 is 10, so 10 plus z 
equals 11. And if we subtract 10 from both sides, we get that z is equal to 11 minus 10, which is 1. So now we know that y is 2 and z is 1. And we can plug these values back into any one of our original equations. So equation 1, 2, or 3 to find the value of x. Let's use equation 1. We know that x plus 2 times y, which we know is 2, plus 3 times z, which we know is 1, equals 6. So x plus 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 3 times 1, which is 3, is equal to 6. So x plus 7 is equal to 6. And if we subtract 7 from both sides, we get that x is equal to negative 1. And so the ordered xyz triplet that satisfies these three equations is negative 1, 2, 1, where negative 1 is x, 2 is y, and 1 is z. Now let's move on to a second example. All right, so here's a second example. We have three equations, x minus y plus 2z equals 7, 2x minus y plus 3z equals 10, and 4x plus 2y minus z equals 1. And we're looking for values of x, y, and z that satisfy all three of these equations simultaneously. Just like last time, let's label these equations 1, 2, and 3, and let's group them into two pairs of two equations and try to eliminate the same variable from both of those pairs. In this case, y will be the easiest to eliminate, so let's start there. Let's group equations 1 and 2 and equations 2 and 3. Let's start off by trying to eliminate y from equations 1 and 2, and we can do this by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. If we do so, we get x minus 2x minus y minus negative y, so minus y plus y, which is 0, so the negative y's cancel, plus 2z minus 3z, and that's equal to 7 minus 10. So if we simplify this a little bit, x minus 2x is negative x, and plus 2z minus 3z is minus c, and that's equal to 7 minus 10, which is negative 3. So here, we have an equation relating x and z, let's call this one a, and now let's try to find a second equation relating x and z so we can find out what their values are. And we can get that second equation relating x and z by eliminating y from equations 2 and 3. In equation 2, we have negative y, and in equation 3, we have positive 2y. So to eliminate y, we're going to need to multiply equation 2 by 2. And if we do that, we get 2x times 2, which is 4x, minus y times 2, which is minus 2y, plus 3z times 2, so plus 6z, equals 10 times 2, which is 20. And if we copy over equation 3, we have 4x plus 2y minus z equals 1. And now, to eliminate y, we just need to add the two equations. And if we do so, we get 4x plus 4x minus 2y plus 2y, so the 2y's cancel, plus 6z minus c, and that's equal to 20 plus 1. Now if we simplify this a little bit, we get 4x plus 4x is 8x, 6z minus c is plus 5z, and that's equal to 20 plus 1, which is 21. Now we have a second equation relating x and z, let's call this one b, and so now we have a system of two equations with two variables, and so we should be able to solve for their values. Okay, so here's our system of two equations, and let's say we want to eliminate z. We have minus z in equation a and plus 5z in equation b. So to eliminate z, we're going to need to multiply the first equation by 5. If we do so, the first equation becomes 5 times negative x, so negative 5x, plus 5 times negative z, so negative 5z, and that's equal to 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. The second equation we can keep as is, so 8x plus 5z is equal to 21. Now to eliminate x, all we have to do is sum up the two equations, and we get negative 5x plus 8x plus negative 5z plus 5z, so the 5z's cancel, and that's equal to negative 15 plus 21. Negative 5x plus 8x is 3x, and 3x is equal to negative 15 plus 21, which is 6. And if we divide by 3 on both sides, we get that x is 2. Now that we know that x is 2, we should be able to solve for z by using either equation a or b. 
Let's use equation A. We know that negative x, so negative 2, minus z is equal to negative 3. And so if we add 2 to both sides, we get that negative z is equal to negative 3 plus 2, so negative 1, which means that z is equal to 1. Now we know that x is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1. So to find the value of y, we can use any one of our three original equations. Let's use equation 1. So we know that x, which is 2, minus y plus 2 times z, which we know is 1, is equal to 7. So we have 2 minus y plus 2, so 4 minus y is equal to 7. If we add y to both sides, we get that 4 is equal to 7 plus y, and then if we subtract 7 from both sides, we get that 4 minus 7, which is negative 3, is equal to y. And so the ordered triplet x, y, z that satisfies these three equations is 2, negative 3, 1. And that's all there is to this problem. Alright, so that's all there is to this video. If it did help you out at all, please be sure to leave a like. And if you want to be notified when I post the rest of the videos in this course, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.